what alternatives to fuel propulsion. We want to get to net zero as soon as possible. Fuel is an essential component <laughs> of propulsion. Fuel like oil and, and derivatives till today. Now we're exploring different alternatives like ammonia, hydrogen, but they are a long way ahead. What can we do now? And actually a good question is how can we think different and not think that we have to burn something to propel a ship? Well, the answer is, I would say, in history, is wind. Wind. Ships have been sailing with wind forever, till very recently, till a couple of hundred years ago. Now, are we advocating to go back to old-style ancient sailing? Well, obviously not. But wind, wind-assisted propulsion particularly, is very interesting. It's very interesting to reduce the impact on uh, greenhouse gases, the impact on carbon, because wind-assisted can reduce dramatically the need for energy from burning fuel, be it carbon or be it hydrogen or whatever. Wind is everywhere, not exactly everywhere, but in particular areas it's very uh, easy to forecast. So, and strong and, and uh, powerful. So the point is, how can we harness wind for propulsion? Well, the traditional method was with sails. There are still uh, projects that think of using more or less traditional sails. But there are other projects where these sails are replaced with composite materials, sails, um, rigid sails, uh, but there are also other um, technologies like uh, flattener rotor, like uh, attaching a, a, a paraglide in front of the ship <laughs> and, and having this paraglide pull the, the ship. Different technologies, different um, complications but in every, in any case, wind is there for us to harness and to increase the percentage of clean energy going into ship propulsion. 